that video that we we brought it we brought it up now but uh can we just go back to it um brian can you kind of give that what what are we actually seeing in that in that uh i mean it's about a four minute videos but just as a sort of a general overview what's the audience uh looking at in that project so in that project we you know they wanted to change their technology so they they had a an old stripping system so they they have a, a system that removes copper uh, from permanent cathodes and you know, we specialize in that. We've been been working on uh, automated cathode stripping machines for over 20 years, and we also work on uh, permanent cathode. Um, and we're the global leader in that. And <clears throat> what they've done is is they've converted the technology. So they had an old system, and as John mentioned, um, we put in a new one. And it's it's a robotic system. Um, it's it's automated, so that it can work with with very few operators, very few uh people being put in risks uh in, in a risk way and uh it's it's a fully automated system that we've implemented I've jared we we were we were selected on that project i mean first of all what you see if you watch the video you're seeing a transfer of product from the client's uh tank house into our machine and then as you go through you'll see our full face cathode wash which is the first of its kind and developed and why was that developed? That's developed based on our experience as a maintenance. As because we are involved in maintaining not only our equipment that we design, but other clients' equipment, other suppliers' equipment as well, we have understand what works and what doesn't work. And one of the issues is, is you can get uh, pre-strip copper, you can get pre-stripping, uh, which causes downtime in the machine or damage. So we designed a system that actually washes the quality, washes the quality of the product, the client's product, which is in this case, copper cathodes. And at the same time, if they do pre-strip, it can be conveyed through the system and doesn't cause a downtime. At the same time after that, we're using robot robotic material handling. We were the first to push the introduction of robots into the mining. Why? Because it's not a one-off design. All the old legacy equipment is one-offs. People designed it. Whereas a robot is like a car, it's reliable. And what we want to bring to the industry or to the systems and to the mining clients is reliability. At the same time, then you go down through the wash. We have two stripping units uh, that provides us with the requirement. We're not moving the product around. All the work's being done in one location. And then we have our bundling and packaging and sampling uh, line as well. And, and one of the reasons we won that project is because we were, we were able to have the flexible design uh, with the the automation so we could fit into an existing footprint. Right, without all the, uh, without actually added infrastructure other than the operation itself that you're implementing.